first thing that went through my mind was how safe my family was and where they were. Now this is this is how I know that there's a God. There were a few injuries. Uh, to my knowledge, most were heat related and were unrelated to the scare. Run across the field trying to get out of through one of the tunnels and that's actually where we found Joshua. I'm just thankful that no one was seriously hurt because of that. Times we live in. Moments of sheer panic for players, cheerleaders, coaches, and the thousands of fans who attended the Bitten Bryant matchup at War Memorial Saturday. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Stephanie Sharp. In fact, the Salt Bowl had to be canceled as a result of a fight that escalated. This is according to authorities. Fans believed shots had been fired inside the stadium in the midst of the chaos, which sent people running out. However, LRPD confirming no shots were fired inside War Memorial last night. KRK4's Chanley Painter has the latest on what police are saying today. Chanley. Police and park officials are still trying to piece together what happened last night and who may be responsible. They say it was simply a misunderstanding of sound, something that War Memorial has never seen before. It caused a chain reaction, a stampede out the entry. And so tonight, they're just thankful that that misunderstanding wasn't worse. Playing good out there, huh? Joe McLeduff loves watching his 11-year-old son play flag football. It's been a great experience for Cal. The McLeduffs joined hundreds of families at War Memorial Stadium Sunday for the Life Champ Jamboree. First time we've seen it like that. But for the abandoned trash lining the stands and press box, everything seemed normal at the state park. And they probably didn't have time to, to pick up. The abandoned memorabilia, a reminder of what happened just a few hours earlier when one of the biggest high school football games of the year was intercepted. From what we understand, there was a fight in the bathroom, and there was also a fight on the concourse. One or more fights drew the attention of the crowd, many thinking they heard what sounded like gunfire. That led to some panic. But authorities say there wasn't a firearm. A stun gun was deployed at a distance. According to park officials, a person at the game dry fired the stun gun twice. And it just makes a sound that can sound like a gun. There were three metal barricades that were knocked over also having the same effect of sounding like a gun. Park officials say security procedures were followed to a T, and while those entering the game last night were bag-checked and some were wanded, security did miss the stun gun. We can't prevent somebody from totally concealing something illegal. This is an anomaly. Thankful that no one was seriously hurt because of that. While he empathizes with what the crowd experienced the night before, for Joe, a safety scare isn't going to keep him from scoring family memories now. Police say that the individuals who started the fight were able to leave the stadium last night without being identified. And they say that that stun gun was confiscated by the police. And they did make one arrest, but that arrest, arrest was unrelated to the initial fight. Reporting live here at War Memorial, Chanley Painter, KRK4 News. Chanley, thanks so much. Bryant School Administrators releasing a statement today, reading in part, we want to applaud the efforts of the War Memorial security team and staff, school resource officers from both Bryant and Bitten School District, and the quick response of the Little Rock Police Department. To read that statement in its entirety, head over to our website, krk.com.